Two local mystery writers are masters of mystery. Mike Dew and Daryl Jewett have written 11 mystery books between them. Yeah, uh, their prolific writing has given them the name the Who Done It Dudes. <laughs> yeah, they join us right now. Thank you. Thanks to both of you guys for coming in and talking about sure. your books. For, uh, Thank you for hold up your latest. Uh, 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 tell us about them a little bit before we get into uh, the Who Done It Dudes. Tell us about yours first. Okay, my book is about a feisty little grandmother who comes to live with her son, who is a police detective and she inadvertently gets herself involved into one of his investigations against his um, recommendations <laughs> and she ends up getting involved with the case and solving the crime. Okay. Hey, I love that. Uh, what about you, Mike? Uh, this is A Corpse on the Court at St. Henry's Gym and I'm a uh, son of Erlanger, Kentucky and uh, it's a, a very special place to me. I have yeah. lots of fond memories of growing up in Erlanger. So this is set in Erlanger in the St. Henry's elementary gym where there is an important volleyball game uh, going on when someone comes out of the crowd and basically they've been murdered and they fall yeah. dead on the court and then you have to find out who who murdered them as well as who they are actually. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> now you guys, have, you guys have, have a website together to make it yes. easier for people to find your books and find you. Mm -hmm. um, Daryl, how did, how did you and Mike sort of get together as uh, authors? A mutual fan uh, asked me if I had read any of Mike's books and I had not. So I uh, got the book before this one, uh, Grave Consequences, and I read it and you know liked his style. So I emailed him, and we've been corresponding ever since. Well, neat. Yeah. I, I have, have to know, love books between you so far, and I know there are more to come. Uh, that sort of thing. What is it about mysteries that we, that, that we all love so much? There's only so many ways you can murder somebody, right? Oh no, <laughs> no. There, there are. I'm, I'm slowly finding out that there are lots of different ways to murder people, <laughs> <laughs> and and this way you get to do it legally. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And now I don't do know if you mentioned this, but but Daryl is he was a detective and a 25 oh, year yes. police yes. officer, so mm -hmm. he's a font of knowledge when it comes to <laughs> all those types of. But things. we do have an insatiable thirst for mysteries. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. in reading about them, watching on TV, the whole mm -hmm. nine yards. Away. What do you think is the reason for that? I, mm. I just think it's it's this human nature to get involved in things that are that are that are puzzles and solving yeah. them, and to be to be able to solve it before everyone else is 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 the basis. This kind of basis behind my books is is to see if the reader can solve it before the amateur detective does. Now, uh, do you guys read a lot of mystery novels too, in oh addition yes. to writing them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Do you always figure them out? Sometimes. Yeah? <laughs> Sometimes, yes. And, and, and there are times when you do some, uh, and the ones I like are the ones that I can't figure out until the very oh, end. okay. So. Yeah, how about you, Mike? I kind of have a cinematic thing that goes on in my head. I, I feel like I'm watching a movie or writing a movie when I'm writing a really? book. Really? So I tend to binge watch a lot of Netflix shows, and mm -hmm. so I do that same thing, trying to figure out what's gonna happen, who's behind this. Yeah. I try to unravel the mystery, and that really does help it's at least my, my way of thinking when mm -hmm. I'm doing my writing oh. as well. Okay, the, the ink's still fresh on these, but are you working on something new already? I am doing the research for the next book in this series, and I believe Mike is already at work on one. So, yeah, I have a, the Tri-State Trilogy is the next thing that I'm going to do, which is three books where each, <coughs> it's all one big story, but mm -hmm. each book focuses on one of the different states ah, here good. in our okay. tri-state area. So yeah, very, very quickly, because you concentrate on Northern Kentucky, Erlinger specifically, set one in Villa Hills, you can call it Killer Hills. <laughs> <laughs> love it. That's, That's great. Give me, That's give, great. Me, give me a credit, give me a credit, and we'll go all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> with thanks to John Lomax. And you can meet, you can meet Mike and Daryl at a book signing at the Dixie Club Bar and Cafe in Erlanger. On January 4th, we have information at local12.com. Thank you guys. Thank you, Thank you very you. much. Yeah, it was fun meeting right. you. Thank you, Carol. <laughs>